Uh, hello, my name is Hari Shankara Sagrin. People call me Shankri. Uh, I'm from a small town. My high school was from a small town uh, called Buruas in Pera. Uh, and I went to SMK Rajeshariman. Okay, uh, I've been in HELP for almost four years now. I started my foundation in HELP University, so that was one year. And then I pursued my degree in Bachelor's in Psychology. So I'm in my final year of my Psychology degree right now. So yeah. Well, um, I've been in the council for ever since I started my foundation year in HELP University. So I was in the foundation department student council called HMC Leeds HELP Matriculation Centre. And after going through the interview process uh, for the selection, uh, I was a vice president for the student council. So one thing they told us to always do, the one thing that we must do, is to make sure that the students are comfortable in HELP University. Your, time in university is very limited so we got to make the best out of it so uh, once I ended my foundation year and I stepped into my degree is when I went into student representative council SRC uh, and that there is when uh, we were told to like make sure the students are comfortable with the academics with uh, everything the facilities whatever their clubs and societies they're into to make sure they have like a wholesome experience of their university life uh, besides that, we, we in SRC, in Student Representative Council, we are also the bridge between the students and the management. So whatever concerns and problems that the students uh, raise up to us, we will try our best to solve it and we will include the management in it in the decision-making process. So for example, if they have uh, problems with the facilities, the Wi-Fi and whatnot, so we will bring it up to the management. We say, hey, we have problems with the Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, what can we do? And then we will lay out a plan and we try to solve it uh, within a week. Uh, we will try to solve it within a week. So that is one thing we do as a student council. The next thing that we do is from time to time, the Ministry of Higher Education, they will call us for a it's either a conference or a meeting or an event and it could be any other any event they will call us for events and we will basically represent help university we will uh, we will equip ourselves with the knowledge of what's happening in help university and we will go there we will tell the minister uh, and other and that is when we meet other student councils from other universities and we will share our experience with them and we basically like, we are basically like the ambassadors of help university if you put it if you look at that perspective so yeah, that is uh, another thing that we do as student councils. Uh, for me, I would say if you're passionate about something, you wouldn't see it as a burden to balance. Uh, if it were to, if it was me, I am very passionate about helping others. I, especially people who, who I know who are going through the same thing that I'm going through. I am an undergraduate, so I would like to help my fellow other my fellow other uh, undergraduates because I know what they're going through so uh, I wouldn't say I it's balancing it's more of like it's a hobby of mine because I like doing it I like helping other people so it's a hobby of mine uh, when it comes to the academic side like my degree side my assignments and whatnot I I feel like I'm very very blessed with amazing friends uh, in my batch, I'm very blessed with them. They will actually keep me up to date on quizzes that I need to complete or assignment due dates that I need to meet. Uh, so that is how currently I'm balancing both between student council and uh, degree. Uh, but besides that, I also have, I also have like you know you got to be organized. You know whatever it is, whatever you're doing, you have to be organized with your time and your environment actually. Uh, so. What I do is that I every day I do a to-do list. It's kind of, it's something like that. I do a to-do to list, and every day I check one by one, and it kind of, kind of gives me a pleasure to like cross it off. So it's a very fun thing to do once you complete something. You cross it off your list. Like I'm not going to think about you anymore. So yeah, um, yeah. In my opinion, if you're passionate about something, you wouldn't see it as a burden. So I don't see my student council uh, obligations, duties as a burden. I see it as something that I like to do and I want to do it. So yeah. Oh, where do I start? Uh, I have, like I said before, I've been in the council, in the student council for almost four years now. So ever since I started my journey, I you know out of high school, out of the schooling years, and into college and university life, it's been a total three hundred and sixty change for me. I, 
I, I'm, I'm from Ipoh, so we don't really get much uh, activities and events in Ipoh. So when I, when I came to Kuala Lumpur, it's you know, a big city, we have you know, various types of events. So um, when I joined Student Council, like I said before, the ministry would call us for events and sometimes other universities would call us for events as well. So one thing that I really brushed up was my communication skills. Uh, once you go for events and you meet other student leaders, you will want to talk to them. You would you know, go approach them, you will talk to them. So basically, I learned how to communicate with them because different type of people, they have different communication styles. So like, for, like, if I talk to my friend, I can like, talk casually. But if I talk to a minister, I have to like, you know, be formal and whatnot. So uh, being in the student council really helped me to learn how to communicate with people, how to bring myself up, how to carry myself, and also keeping in mind that I'm representing the university. So I have to like be in my good behaviour and whatnot. So that's one thing that I learned being in the student council. Another thing is that um, in the student council itself, we will have many opinions. We, are of, we have right now we have almost to eight to twelve members in SRC. So uh, there's like many opinions, and um, to have the I wouldn't say patience, but yeah, you can actually put it. Uh, to have the patience to listen to their opinions and take their opinions into consideration is something that I learned. Uh, something that I learned uh, while being the student council is uh, basically your adaptability skills and how well you manage. You know the different opinions, different. Uh, if you have miscommunication, how do you manage and whatnot? So yeah, that's one thing I learned also. Because it's a known fact that Help University, we have two campuses, uh, one in Subang, one in Damansara, and some departments, we are actually split into two. Like, for, as far as I know, it's the foundation. We have one group in Subang, one group in Damansara, as well as business. We have business in Damansara, we have business in Subang. So one thing that I realised that the Student Council needs to do is to bridge the gap between the two campuses. Uh, when I was in my foundation year, I could actually see that there's a gap between my foundation friends in Subang and also my foundation friends in Damansara. And it wasn't very nice, it was a nice thing la, because we, when, when you go out and then you, you know, see someone and then that person says, oh, I'm from Help University too, I'm also doing foundation. But then they're from different campuses, so that kind of defeats the purpose of a wholesome university life. So one thing that we plan to do is to bridge the gap between the two campuses to make sure that the students know each other and they, you know, you know, be friends because you're spending your university life four to five years in university. You need that group of friends. You need the peers that you talk to. It's where you start your, how you talk to communicate uh, to other people. And once you, it's how you develop your PR skills, if you can put it that way. Once you got to the working world, it's you know it starts from uni, uh, from your university life. So yeah, that's one thing that we really want to get rid of the gap between the two campuses. Definitely, one hundred percent. I cannot tell you how many times I actually pushed my friends to join the student council because it was really an eye-opening experience for me. Like I learned so much from uh, being in the student council by going out to you know meeting other student leaders, meeting the ministers, meeting CEOs even. So I would definitely encourage uh, students who wish to join student council to really do it. It really pushes you and actually explores your full potential. I never knew that one day I would be running a student council until I got to the position. Uh, it's a learning process for everybody. It's my first time being, uh, you know, running a student council. So it's a learning curve, you know. Uh, we help each other out uh, here and there. You don't have to be like, have like 100% experience once you join the student council. You join the student council and that's where you learn and you grow, your, grow yourself and make, sh make sure you are, you become a better person at the end of the day. So yeah. One thing that I wish I were told when I started the Student Council was to be brave, was to not be afraid to speak up. You have the platform, you have the voice, use it well. Not many people will have this opportunity to encourage other students to do something good. And once you have the Student Council platform, you can do anything you want. If, for example, if you're passionate about education inequality, gender inequality, racism, you have the platform, you can use the platform wisely. So use it, don't be afraid to speak 
speaks up. Don't be afraid to speak your opinions. In a world where we still are battling with racism, gender equality, you name it, we're still battling. The list goes on and on. So don't be afraid. Speak up, be brave. And if you feel that you are scared to you know, raise your opinions, that's normal. You know, sometimes I so feel shy, you know, like, what if, this, what if this is stupid, you know, like, people will, like, judge me and whatnot. So uh, I would try to tell myself that the regret that I feel if I lose the opportunity is way worse than me, you know, being stupid. So I don't like the regret feelings for me. I don't like the regret feelings. So I will use, use your time well in the student council and be brave. So, yeah.